Hi, I'm Craig, and welcome back to another on the road video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. What we have here is a Imana top load washer. Uh, the complaint was that it wasn't washing in certain cycles, particularly the regular and the permanent press cycle, but would wash inside the delicate cycles. When I got here, none of the cycles would work. Um, I checked the lid switches, everything seemed to be good with that. But what I did notice is when I would fiddle with the timer and kind of shake it back and forth like that after I tried to start it, sometimes it would start and sometimes it wouldn't. I could also move it into a spin cycle, shake the timer, and power would cut in and out and then eventually it would start. So today, what we're gonna do is replace the timer mechanism. The tools you will need for this repair is a quarter inch nut driver or drill bit and a Phillips head screwdriver. First thing you wanna do to start this repair is unplug your washing machine, pull the knob out, and spin it counterclockwise. To release that, you will not be able to pull the timer out with the knob on there, and this in particular one actually screws on to the timer. So remove that. Now we'll get to the back and start taking off the bolts. Now there are two quarter inch bolts holding on the top panel portion. Remove these two. release the top plate. Next, there are three Phillips head screws on the top preventing the plate from going forward. Remove these. should allow the plate to drop forward to get to our timer mechanism. Next, you have two quarter inch screws holding in the timer, one at the top, one at the bottom. Remove these. pull out. Once you get the timer removed, you will see there are two tabs, one on each side of the wiring harness. Push these tabs in and wiggle out. Now you can put in your new timer. Now plug your wiring harness back in to the timer. Make sure it fits snug. There will be a notch on the plastic ring that this feeds into. Make sure that is secure. And replace the quarter inch bolts that you took out from there previously. Now that those are on, make sure your dial is turning correctly, in well, just case it is. I'd recommend testing out the unit. So 
slide your top back on and put the knob, screw that on clockwise, plug your washing machine in. And we're gonna turn this and give it a quick try. We're starting on regular. Spin and drain works on regular. Permanent works. Spin works. Fill on delicate is good. And drain and spin on delicate is good. So all these components are working fine. We'll start to put our screws back in the top. Start with the three Phillips head screws on the top. Uh, if these are secured, you can slide back on your top plate, work from the front down and bend it back and replace the bolts they removed from the top there. It was the two quarter inch screws. And this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.